feel my soul Slow roll it Scroke it with the motion I just can't have a good time I ain't coming here to hurt nobody, baby I ain't nothing but a dance all country folk All I like to do is drink and party, baby I just can't have a good time I ain't coming Ooh, hold on, get myself right, get myself right How y'all doing out there today? How y'all doing? Hey, look, man, this is your boy, Eric G, a.k.a. the heavyweight lover, a.k.a. your little big brother. Hey, y'all, man, I am back. I am back. Y'all, I am. I'm so excited for this new year. Like I told y'all on my on my regular show, Random Thought, is that I'm doing a lot of series this year. This year, I, I, I want to switch it up, man. I want to I want to branch off from my normal my normal routine. And um, one of my series I'm doing is called The Local Spotlight Artist, which a lot of y'all know. Um, I know for my regular show is when I bring on different musicians and we get a chance to interview them and, and see their growth and where they came from. And, you know, I'm always about representing, representing my community, man. And this brother we got here tonight, man. This brother right here, man. Let me tell y'all something. Man. I've been knowing this dude right here. Them that half of my life, man. Well, look, that we old now, so them over half of our life. <laughs> Yo, I've been knowing this brother for a while, man. And I am so excited to see his growth, to see where he where he came from to where he at now. And he's on top of the damn charts right now, man. This uh, he's, a, he's the new Southern soul legend right here. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and do his little introduction real quick before I go ahead, before I get started with the interview. Ranking on Messi the Paisanica. Topic of Paisanica. Messi the Paisanica. The ball of the Paisanica. Super Paisanica. Super Paisanica. Yo, what's up, yo? Yo, uh, what's up, y'all? I got my homeboy. Cut your bow fly. What's, what's up, that, brother? Yeah, yeah, what's up, man? What's good with you, brother? How you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling great, man. Everything great. How you? Hey, I'm glad. Hey, I'm alive, brother. You know, I can't complain, man. I'm alive. Yes, yes sir. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's and that's hard to say in this day and time. Yes, but, sir. But, yo, man, first thing first, how, how was your new year, bro? New Year's was great, man. I'm here. You know, like you said, every time we we hey. somewhere on this on this side of the dirt, we straight, yeah, man. That's right, that's right, man. Hey, look, man. A lot of people don't know that um you from this small town called Henderson, North Carolina. <laughs> you know, yeah. and I and I tell everybody, I say, yo, one thing about Henderson is like, we are known for the bad, but we have so much talent and good here. And um, man. brother, you is you is the representative of that, man. You. You yeah. have you have worked your you have worked your ass over the last few years, man. I, I I'm happy I get a chance to watch it. I was there, so yeah. I was, I'm happy to see that. Hey, so let's so let so before we get started, let everybody know a little bit about Catch Bow Fly. Catch Bow Fly, man. Cowboy Catch Bow, whatever you want to call it. You know, we from down here in a little small town. You know, it's country. You know. Fly, you know, everybody know that's my real name, William Fly, you know what I'm saying? So right. I had to stick with them a country boy, put the fly on it, you know what I'm saying? But who laid back, got love music, you know, love everybody, positive, God friend, you know. Um, right. Love to cook, you know, love family man, you know. Good guy, cool guy. Country boy Fly is a cool guy, literally. Hey, hey, you know what, man? You is 100% dead, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I think, well, we get a little bit back in our past, man. I think I, we met each other way back in middle school, bro. We've been knowing each other since yeah. we was kids, man. Yeah. Hey, That's yo, tough. man, you know, back back when we were skinny as hell at one point. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah we were little then. <laughs> we, 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 we changed a lot, man. But look, man, I'm glad to see your growth, man. Um, So let's, let's get into it, man. I remember back, I remember this taking it back, I'd say about 10... 13 years ago, man, when everybody in everybody in Henderson was trying to be a rapper, everybody in Henderson had a mixtape. Um, what made you start uh, start your journey in music? When, when when was your first like start? Well, I first started at 10 years old, and you know, I was always a, a you know a rhythmic type of guy. You know what I'm saying? I always loved music. You know, you know we grew up in that. So you know, we get up every day, our mama get up and clean up, listen to music when we clean the house, you know what I'm saying? And um, mm-hmm. just the art of it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I've always been a writing type of guy, you know? 
I always write, you know, and I, I always love beats. But um, at 10 years old, you know, I asked my mama for um, a tape recorder, you know, like the police mm -hmm. tape recorder, the little old school tape. tape yeah, you know? yeah. Got that, you know, and, and started making me some music, man. And I definitely fell in love with it, got addicted, you know. And, you know, a couple mm -hmm. guys in school and, you know, from, from Princess Street on and Eden Johnson, you know, we started putting some stuff together and I just ain't looked back. Hey, yes. That's amazing, bro. So what, do you remember your first song, man? Do you remember when you first got a chance to, to, to hit that mic and, and spit my, something? My, my, my first song was to Jay-Z's B song cry. Okay. And that was my first song. I did that on the cassette tape. That was man. That was back then. I had a uh, tape called Dramatic Illness. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that was my first song recording that because I really liked that beat. You know. Right. But yeah, that was that was my that was my first song, man. Oh my god, man! And, and, and to see where you came from, man. I remember that. Um, I remember I used to run into you over the, like you know, at one point in time. You know, I did music. So we yeah. were running into each other and shit. And I remember you had asked me to be on some songs. And look, and at the time, I was, let me be I'll, I'll honest with y'all. Now, I can't sing well for damn nowadays, but back in the day, I was good. <laughs> it was, it was, I was decent back in the day. Oh, now. I was decent back in the day. I, I mean, the kids made my voice get kind of hoarse. Um, yeah. But, and no, for real talk, man, I, and I remember seeing you in passing, man. I, and I, it's crazy because I've watched your growth through this entertainment yeah. type of business. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. One thing I want to say, man, what separated you? Because, you know, back then, so many people was doing music. What made you different from everybody else? Yeah, so, you know, like like I said, from 2010 when I did that tape, you know, I was I was watching that. But it was, it was some great people around. You know, like, um, uh, Drastic was going crazy. I feel, that's the school day before I started blowing up, you know, because I had moved to Tennessee. But right. you know, them guys, them, them guys were going hard. They was they was motivation, but you know, with Black Rob, right. you know, yep. it, it was, you know what I'm saying, in school. Um, yep. but um it was um Thunder's Five Two, it was HM Dub, you know what I'm saying? I, it, you know, I, that was motivation, you know what I'm saying? It was, so, it was. I just even from the music that you know, the, the real mainstream music from the big guys that's that's that was owned then, even now. I try to figure, I try to figure out a way like what a separate me different, you know, the different cadence, a different beat. You know what I'm saying? I want to be, I want to separate myself from everybody differently. I want to spit my bars differently. I want to break it down differently. You understand? But um, but uh, excuse me about that. But uh, <laughs> girl, you could have waited on that. <laughs> okay, I, they can't. Podcast. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but um, matter what I was saying. You want to speed up a little bit, like the what? Oh, oh, I, when I started, like when I really, really got into it, because that was like yeah, my, I mean, all, 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 way, all, all way together. I want to know it all, man. Because okay. like I said, I know. Here's my thing: is now let me tell you what I do know. What I do remember, you know, from back then. I remember you said you came in hard. You came in hard with both the greatest. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But you know, first it was gutter pay before then. Yeah, and but then 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 I remember then if I'm not mistaken, didn't you cross over to gospel at one point? Yeah, I crossed over to gospel. And my name was Yabo Stone. Yeah, I remember that. And then yeah. we came. Then we got. Then we got to, to to the Southern Soul Classic Country Boat. So yeah. and again, and and I know I, me personally knowing you, I seen what separated you from everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I seen why you are still doing this in a bigger level nowadays than a lot of people yeah. are. So, what do you, is how do you feel? How do you feel that with separation, even when big or small? What do you feel? Well, my voice is distinctive. You know, a lot of country folk, everybody talk different, but you you can hear this country. But you know, like my my other side of my roots is uh Nashville, Tennessee. You know, that's Music City. Right. And, you know, I lived up there, so. I'm going I'm to have a little bit of that, that deep, deep South and my Carolina, you know what I'm saying? My Carolina, right. country, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that, that's what made my voice kind of distinctive, you know what I'm saying? And then 
I say I'm gonna set my delivery aside uh, from everybody. Cause one time I was in the studio, right? Mm-hmm. So the way I talk, you know, I, I I talk calm. I you know I talk calm, like I'm kind of high pitched now. That's how I do my music. I, I get my I get it off my chest. I deliver, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But my cousin was listening to my record, right? I had a song called Lawnmower that ain't nobody never heard. And he was like, "Man, the beat hot, the song hot, but you sound like you sitting down." So. When he told me that, I said, all right, see, now I got to go with my gut. I got to turn it up. I got to hype it up. So, yeah, I just I just wanted to be different, man. The way I dress, the way I sound, the beats I choose, you know, I just I just wanted to be different. I was doing Southern Soul when I was in Sylvester Cheek's studio. I used to record in his studio and be on his label uh, like 2012. And um, we had a producer over there named T9P. But uh, mm-hmm. I wasn't singing the the hooks. I was rapping mm-hmm. them, you know. But it was to Southern Soul Beach. It was it was, it was cool too. But but uh, right, right. I definitely knew I wanted to go in that thing. But I always loved rap and hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you did. But I just wanted to be versatile. I listen to a lot of my music. I got rock and roll records. I got pop records. I got hip hop records. Southern Soul records. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know. Uh, I just want to be versatile. I know right. like outside the box. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And yeah. one thing I will say this right here, man, is like I said, I've seen you doing tours and, and live shows. How's how's that feeling, man, of actually going from like we listened to this music growing up to now yeah. I'm on these stages with these people that I've listened to? How's how has that experience been for you, bro? It's a it's a it's a dream come true, you know. Even though I ain't blew up yet in mainstream, well, you you it, for us. You know, yeah, being with the mainstream people and and being in a crowd, man, it's it's ten thousand people over here. Right. You know, I, I I you know I got anxiety. I got a good anxiety though when I'm on stage because it ain't stage fright. It make me it make me go. You know what I'm saying? I'm like I'm in all when I'm up there, like all these people. I, I got to show off for them, but. You know, it, it it's, it's just it's a blessing, you know. And like I said, back to ten years old, did song crowd, you know, looking up at Jay Z, Fifty Cent had came over, get rich die trying. You know, I'm like, I'm, we looking at them on TV. You know how we mm-hmm. back in the day, we want to be them guys. You know what I'm saying, right? And just right, grow up, be on stage with them. You know, it's 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 a it's a dream come true, man. It's, hey, it's, man. And it shows that the hard work and dedication with those stopping and quitting no matter how hard you fail or fall or slow down or whatever you know you mm. keep going keep your passion at, a, at an all-time high right it's it, it's a blessing man man you know and i love that man one thing one thing i appreciate you too man because i know that you have shared your own personal journeys of um going you know you had your ups and downs in your life like all of us did yeah, man. you know what i'm saying what is something that i know you had i know you had your lower moments at one point how did you able to overcome that and come out even in a better mood? Or how? Because there's people who probably listen to it like, man, I can't do this no more, man. I'm, I'm tired. I'm ready to quit. How did how do you what, how do you like encourage yourself to keep moving? You know, first God, first I gotta I gotta tell myself like, man, come on, man, you you, you got God in you. You know what I'm saying? You you you're a child of Him, you know. And that, that's first. I gotta remind myself first, and then I gotta I gotta power myself up, and, you know, and and, and and understand that, and I got I got to not be selfish. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If, if I, I want to give up, like you just said, if people watching, they might want to give up. If I give up, somebody else gonna give up. You know what I'm saying? I got people looking up to me. People that you know, kids, nieces, nephews, sisters, brothers, mamas. You know what I'm saying? You never know who's looking up right. to you. You know what I'm saying? So that was my motivation, and also my motivation was. You know the the, the the stuff that the people doubted me. They want to see me fall. They want to see me fail. They want to see me give up. So I can't I can't get them what they want. You know what I'm saying? So that was mm-hmm. that was motivation there too to keep going. You know what I'm saying? But it, right. it, it you know it was painful. It was oh, it yeah. was it was hurtful. You know a lot of you know people won't people ain't there for you. You know, especially in, in times like that. Especially if you're on your deathbed. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's deep. You feel me? But um, right. It's just God, man, and, and and not being selfish. Thank you for what everybody that that really love you and, and the people that you love, because I'm a lover. You know what I'm saying? 
So you can be out of God, Lord, you feel me? Hey man, I love that man. I, I, I love that. I love. I just one thing I want to say about my show is, especially the spotlight artist show. I want y'all to. I, I, I love, I'm glad that y'all are able to give some kind of positive influence on on this new generation because I feel like this new generation is all. To me, I feel like this new generation is is getting is real negative to me. You know what I'm saying? Everything everything is the quick money. Everything is about killing. Everything is about trying to do this and the third. We are snaking each other out. We going and I to see that, you know what I'm saying, we're we're kind of considered a part of the older generation, but we're making it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'm so I'm glad to see that I'm glad I'm glad to get you to say something like that because I think that's something that people really need to need to hear. Uh, yo, I right, so I'll move on to one thing now. But I'm gonna get into, I'm finish the music. I'm gonna get this back into the music. But it's one thing that really been on my mind. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call you Wim now because I'm pissed off now. Yeah. <laughs> so the one thing been on my goddamn mind because you've been giving me a run for my money with these goddamn chicken wings, and I'm in trouble. Yeah. I, yo, and everybody know, man. I'm a big. I'm a, I, I cook too. I've been a caterer for years. But you, you up here giving me a goddamn run for my money with these yaki wings, man. Yeah, hey, yo, let everybody know about your business, man. Let everybody know what you're doing, man. Cause you, you, you throwing it down in the kitchen, bro. So you, so you know where it come from, right? What's that, bro? It come from Country Bowl Fly. Hey. So you see the logo, the chick got on the cowboy hat, got on luxury, you know. But um, <laughs> you know, Yiki was one of my ad libs in my music, mm-hmm. and yai yai. So. You know, me and my CEO, SWMG, shout out to Steve Money, shout out to Pete Money. You know, we, um, you know, we were like, man, you know, we're going to enter some barbecue shows. So, you know, in the hood with my, my brother, all my brothers, we used to cook. So, we was on the post side, you know what I'm saying, a, a lot of times. So, we, we had to figure out what we was going to whip up with whatever we had in the fridge. Even when, we was, when I was at the home cooking, you know, same thing going up. I had to put something together. So we put some, I put something together, you know what I'm saying? And we, everything good. They love it. So through the years, I said, I'm into these barbecue sauces, the contest. Mm-hmm. But I came over that first sauce, that barbecue sauce, that Yankee barbecue. This is before right. Yankee thing, even, even old. And I put it on some chicken and had a plate sale, you know? It was mm-hmm. a success, you know what I'm saying? I kept going with it. Yankee barbecue started it. I'm putting it on the wings. I said, I'm going to call it Yankee wings. I ain't going to change the brand. Yak is the brand that comes from Country Boat Fly. If you want Country Boat Fly, it wouldn't be a Yak Wing, you know? But, uh, you're right, right. But, um, just like my music, you see, I got 80 flavors. Hey. You see, nobody else got 80 flavors. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Not bad. You know, but I worked myself up to say, I'm going to be different. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not going to do what everybody else do. And I'm not going to go in the store. I can go in the store and be cheap. Buy some sauce to put on some, be mm-hmm. cost effective, cut the cost mm-hmm. down, cut the overhead down. But now nah, I'm building a brand. It's just like Country Boat Fly. If I got to go get me some boots, they're going to make these people, and they 500, the people going to say, ooh, instead of going to get a pair of $900 boots, I'm going to get mm-hmm. them $500 boots. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I right, know what right. I ain't thinking about momentarily, I'm thinking about longevity. You know? Right. So it's the same thing with my chicken. I put my love in it, just like my music is an art. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just, I, I started with the barbecue, the buffalo, and the gold. The gold was my mm-hmm. second sauce. It was my three sauces. That's what right. built the business. When I came to, to this building that I'm in, I was in the house at first. But I only, I only had like five sauces. Mm-hmm. But first day, we had a line at the door, man, Grand Noble. So I had, I, you know, I built it up, you know, and I only had like 10 sauces, eight sauces then. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I, a potato stick, fries, loaded fries, meatballs. That was it. Mm-hmm. Now, I, 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 you know, I went with God. I talked to God and said, God, what should I do? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what's going to bring the people more? The wings mm-hmm. good. Let me put my sauce on something else. Let me put my flavor on something else because I got flavor. Right, right. I get burgers. I get Philly steaks. I get the Because I ain't no Philly guy. I ain't a burger guy. I'm, I'm the chicken man. I'm the wing guy. Mm-hmm. I raise chickens. I, you know what I'm saying? That's me. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it, it just, I love it. And uh, it's, it's it's a blessing, man. Like I said, it comes from Country Boat Fly, man. And, you know, you, you got to come get some of these yikin wings. Everybody got some of these yikin wings. And, you know, the yikin, the word is crazy. 
because mm-hmm. people say the way I spell it is 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 crazy because people say icky or yiki. Yeah. But it, it derives off the word yikes. Like okay. Like yikes, like oh. So yeah. when you, yeah. you, you in my sauce, my barbecue sauce ain't gonna taste like sweet baby rays or you know, um I forgot the other name because I, I do my own thing. Uh, like, yeah. Whatever. But my gold sauce ain't gonna taste like uh skips gross uh, yellow sauce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now, yeah. Gross, mine don't taste different, you know what I'm saying? They a lot of people do vinegar base. I do mm. different base, you know. Hey. But um yeah, like I said, yikes. I put I put my love there. Right. I got you. I, you know what? Let, let me go ahead and go ahead and when we get offline, tell me that recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix my shit right. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 hey, no, I'll do the side, man. Y'all, you know, I'm always, I mean, even if we're doing the same thing, bro, I'm always proud of the next man because yeah. it's hard out it's all it's hard out here, man. We are trying to make it. And yo, and you're doing a hell of a job, bro. Like, I swear to God, your place be making me like, hey, I gotta I gotta step my game up with my food, man. Hey, I gotta step my stuff. But um, yo, man, man. you go. You just gotta do it, you know. I know, bro. And uh, man, look, I I appreciate that, man. Yes, sir. um, We gotta get back into the music. For little catering, do something. You gotta, yo, man. Always coming up. You know what I'm saying? Always, always, man. My wife got a bakery, so we got look. It's a long. We're still talking about this offline. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. (laughs) But um, yo, another thing, we gonna get back into the music. It's one song that been blowing up, especially in the Southern Soul circuit. It's good time. If y'all hear it at the beginning of the show, it's good time. Yo, bro, how was that? How was that feeling of listening of that song blowing up as big as it, it, it did? Like, how do you feel about that, man? It's it's crazy because I, I wrote that record. We was on a tour band on the way to then where the VA to open up for Boosie, mm-hmm. and we were just we listened to beats. We listened to that beat, and we came up with the beat. I mean, with the hook. And we just started rocking, you know. But I didn't write no verses yet. It took me two years. I wrote, I, I went home and wrote some verses, and I, I, I put some of the same words in it, but I rapped it. Mm. But in two years, I moved to Fayetteville, and I was sitting in the studio we built. And I played that beat, and I listened to the hook, 3 o'clock in the morning. And I started writing, and I hit that. I said, man, you got to be different. I had to, because I, I was going through something. While I was on tour, and you know, when I wrote that song, the hook, mm-hmm. so I scratched them verses. So I sat in there, and I said, "What can you come out?" I'll, they they always say, "Yo, you know, in school when you writing, that that that, that when you started off with, that's it. You understand? You got that hook. That hook sentence. That hook. That hook sentence. That hook sentence got that. You know what I'm saying? So I said, I got to say. Boot up, boot up, bam, a hot what? bam. I'm hot bam. So I, <laughs> yes. I, know them, I know them people going to look like, hold on. So I said, I'm going to say it. Whole lot now, won't say a lot now. And it just kept going. And I'm like, well, what I be doing? Now I'm in the juke joint. Bink, she done dropped it like it's hot. That potato hot now. I, it start flowing. And the song hit. We put it out. Man, 10K, just like that. We put it on Shazam. 500 Shazam, just like that, man, like two weeks. We like, mm-hmm. hold on. So we start, you know, my CEO lined up shows and we were performing for free. Next thing you know, we start getting bookings. $500 a mm-hmm. the show. They haven't picked their show. Okay. Up, you know what I'm saying? Even to this day, when I perform that record, we, it's still it's still a $1,000 a show. You know? Hey, man. You know, and it's, it's a blessing that it, and it's still going. It's still blowing up. You know, you can have a hit record for 10 years. That 10 yeah. years, it's going to catch. You know, yeah. we're just being patient. Like I said, the brand is with the music. The music mm-hmm. is with the brand. So, you know, um, the feeling of making that record, man, was beautiful because it took me back to when I was in the juke joint listening to the music. I'm listening to Dragon Cone, Look at Moonshine. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Yes, yeah, sir. It, it I mean, took me oh, back. Don't, know, they, they don't, know, don't know about that corn looking at. We ain't going to say that all loud now. We <laughs> <laughs> that good old, old monkey. That's that good monkey oil. Oh, boy, that's, that's why I got hair. On, that's why I got hair on my chest now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh yes, man, but look, man, but look, no way. I, like I said, I, I'm so proud of you too, bro. And I always want to give my flower, give, give everybody their flowers, man. Yes, I'm sir. I'm proud of you, bro. 
I, I, I love seeing somebody who I who I know personally like grow. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and I tell and I tell everybody because my when I started this show, man, I start doing I start talking about my neighborhood, my and, and my community. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And and I wanted to I wanted to showcase this. We weigh more than a shootout at a gas station. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We weigh more than all of that, man. And like I said, even though we have our little, we we all have our little, you know, you know, here and there, but we're still growing. We still got it's still it's way more than just what meets the eye. And I want to give yeah. you your flowers on that, bro, man. Salute to you, bro. You have been doing a hell of a job, man. That I'm, I that, that's one thing. I appreciate it, boss. Well, I, well, you, you know where we come from. You know, know, it's even worse now. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what I want to ask want to ask you too before we get off this. Um, what do you think that we need now in our in our town? Well, we need more of this that we got going on here. Um, we need we need more of, we need more outreach. You know what I'm saying? More more you know mentors like like guys like me and you, guys older than me and you, women also because the the women you know the young girls you know what I'm saying, but just a positive, a positive respect. You know what I'm saying? Because just, just say, if, if we keep introducing them to to sex and red, you know, or or, or the, the corrupted music, which you know, everybody got their own choice. But we introducing them to the the, the drill. All my, I'm, how, how y'all? How everybody got all ops? Everybody got all the ops. Everybody got ops. Everybody like, got ops. You never even, you ain't never even seen this guy. How's your right. ops? You know what I'm saying? So, right. like, just putting it out there, like, that's your brother. That's your sister. Right. That's your op. If we got to, just like we see a commercial of food, and they drilling in our face, and they drilling in our face, and they drilling in our face, we got to get over here in these streets and drill it in their face nonstop. Some people get over here and do it. They lighten up. They might don't have the funds to keep doing it. You know right. what I'm saying? Things get slack. Somebody else come along and do it. Same thing. to keep the same cycle keep going. But we gotta be consistent, you know what I'm saying, and keep it going. Cause we are our community. We live over here too. We raising our family over here too. You know what I'm saying. So our people seeing what's going on, these folks killing each other and going through what they going on. You know what I'm saying. Got going on. We gotta get better people. And you know, like like Melissa Elliott. Shout out to her. She, you know, yeah. she's we gotta get people in office. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Our people who gonna step with us. You know what right. I'm saying. Right. But. Like I said, just outreach, man. Big brother, big sister. You know, go down and, and, and touch them and show them something different. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm, I'm selling drugs right now. I'm selling drugs. The chicken this is my drug. I you got to get over here and touch nothing that's illegal. You could do it right. legal. You know what I'm saying? You can start you a business, leave a legacy. All right. the other races do it. We can do the same thing. That's what we got to teach our community and teach our people. You feel what I'm saying? And yo, but my thing is, I also want everybody to know too. Uh, when it comes to our town, yo, you can get out. We don't have to be in this. Don't got this. We don't. Here. We don't have to. And my thing, and even while we here, because you know it was crazy. Cause, you know, at one point in time, we, Henderson was known as the retirement place. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. Old folks would come here and retire back in the day. And I was like, yo, I'm looking at that now. I'm like, yo, this is 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 wild. It's, it's, you know, it's wild now. But especially, and I, and I got two teenage boys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm trying to. Try to instill in them you know, what they need to do, even yeah. though it's you got to start fighting against it. I know it's hard, but yo, yeah. I appreciate what you're saying there, man. I really one do appreciate thing, you saying that. One more thing you said that we got to get out. Now, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at if I ain't get out because you know I left at 15, not great, right. moved to Tennessee. And ever since then, I might come back for a year, but ever since then, I done lived in Atlanta, South Carolina, you know, Augusta, Georgia, you know what I'm saying. I didn't live in uh, Durham, North Carolina, Chapel Hill. You know what I'm saying? I, I move around. I get right. out. And imagine if I was here right. the whole time, still. You and, know what I'm saying? And, 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 but the thing is, you got to also understand that that it's more than just these four walls. You know what I'm saying? You ain't yes, trapped. Right. Yes, it's, right. a, it's a life outside of this place, man. It's a life out here. And I'm not saying we, we can't give back to our community because we need that. We need to give back to our, our, our home. But at the same time, understand that I don't want to live. I don't want to be. I don't want to live and die here, knowing that. You yeah. know what I'm saying I couldn't make that difference. Like it could. Like you. Like yo, it's more than that. And these people die young as hell every day. But anyway, yeah, man, like, that, that that's getting. I'm, I'm getting to. I'm getting to a whole another conversation, bro. Yeah, this is about you, man. Yeah, yeah. 
Hey, yo, man. But look, man, I just want to, like, I want to salute you, man. And before we go, man, what what is one thing? No, I, no, I got a game. I got. I'm gonna play a game if you got time. But what is one thing you want to you want to leave all the new artists with that's coming into the game? One second. I'm trying to. See. I done cut my phone out. Hello. Okay. Hold on. Hey, you, right, you see me? You. Yeah, okay. I can see you, bro. Um. Yeah. What is one thing you want to leave to all the new artists coming into the game? Be versatile. Be yourself. Don't be afraid. Be passionate. And um, most of all, make the music that's in your heart, not the music that. That's 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 popular, or you know, make the music that you feel in your chest. If 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 your grandma see it, write it down. If if you want to see your brother feel better, your sister feel better, write it down. You know what I'm saying? Put put your feelings out there. Put 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 it out there. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a follower and say, "Well, I'm gonna write a song about gun." You don't even got no gun, but you are gonna get one. Mm-hmm. This song, you gonna need it. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. So I'm just saying. Be yourself, man. Be versatile. Be different. Be able to box. Don't be scared. Do the art. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, Don't paint the same picture as the next person paints. Paint your picture. Got you, man. I appreciate that, man. You know, I'm gonna leave. I wasn't gonna play this game with you. I said, man, you got, you got, you got a job. You got, you got a whole empire to run. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and say this real quick, man. This, now this, I'm gonna, end, I'm gonna end on this question right here. Hey, got your bow. If Illuminati coming to your house, who would you sacrifice? Luma, them. <laughs> That's all I mean. <laughs> hey, look, I, I, we, we ain't sacrificing nothing around him. We, we God friends. I feel yeah. that, bro. Hey, look, they show up at my door. Before, before they tell me I got to sacrifice somebody, they can take me. You understand? I they feel can take that, bro. Me. You know what I'm saying? They can take me and do what they got to do, but they won't get nobody I love. I would never do that to nobody. I know that's right, bro, and I yeah, salute that. Uh, but you know, so I, I got I got one cousin. His ass know who he is. Anyway, man, look, I'm, <laughs> hey y'all, man, I'm gonna wrap this up, man. I'm gonna wrap this up, man. Yo, man, this has been a great interview. Let me see if I can play a song real quick. Play a song on on the way out. It's been a great interview, man. Country Bow, man. Yo, look, I salute you, brother. Thank you so much for coming on my show. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Bro. Thank you for dropping some gems, man. I love it, man. Yes, sir. Can... Yeah. I'm gonna end the show the way I begin it, man. One more, one time for the good time. One time for the good time. I ain't coming here to hurt nobody, baby. That's it. That's let me get it. Let me get it. It's South Mouth South music. South music.